most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Well, there are plenty looking forward to seeing this, a capacity crowd here. Well, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface, and that's a fine start in itself. And we're underway. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, William. He's one of the best around when it comes to close control with pace, and that makes him an explosive dribbler at times who's very tricky to stop. He's also a very good striker of the ball, especially from free-kick situations, so the opposition will have to be careful about not giving away too many of those here. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Chance! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Manchester just served up a reminder of how good they can be on the break. Their method is clear. Sterling. De Bruyne. Arsenal have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not. Well, he's certainly caught him there. It's a free kick. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Foden. And here's Sterling. Tierney. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? It's being played forward. And it's William. Neither side yet able to force a breakthrough here. Sterling. Mares. Oh, Red, he sorted that out. Tierney, has he found his man? Saka, and it's played forward. Quick glance at goal. William is fouled. Foden, Manchester couldn't do a whole lot with it there. They could do with more sharpness in their passing. Ceballos drives it forward. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Rodri. And it's De Bruyne. Mares. Mares unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Will you? Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge.
William. It's William! Good first touch and almost as good a second. Ah, oh, that's a great effort. There was very little backlift to indicate. Oh, Aubameyang! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Aubameyang simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Well, it's De Bruyne. De Bruyne. And De Bruyne! The captain delivers! Oh, that's very, very well played by the skipper. He was only too aware of the importance of a goal at this late stage in the first half. He knew it would affect the teams, all part of the thought process from someone in his position. The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. So we have our breakthrough. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Mares. Now a chance to break. And he heaves it forward. That'll be the last act of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. That still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. More than decent game up to now. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well, there's good movement off the ball, the passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Manchester are in at half time with a slender one goal lead. The action has already resumed here. Manchester carrying a one-goal lead. Loses his balance and loses the ball. While the crowd clearly like Hector Bellerin is the guilty party there. Laporte. Ake. Rodri. Pings it out wide. Foden. And here's Morris to Bruyne. And here's Morris. Caballos. Aubameyang. And it's Morris. And the through ball is intercepted. Saka. Ceballos, Ceballos plays it forward. Sterling, and here's Mares, Ferran Torres, Saka. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, this lead is beginning to look a little delicate. I'd rather see them show the ambition and adventure to go further ahead. But it seems as if they've settled for a, a riskier approach now to defend us. He's there to receive it. Arsenal showing a little more urgency now. And to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Tierney. Forward it goes. Aubameyang. Crosses it in low. Hoists it forward. And it's Hector Bellerin. The ball's come loose, and the chase is on. Mares goes looking. Manchester are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Kyle Walker. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Well, he's obviously been identified as a menace, and they're dealing with him accordingly. I think we can expect... Ferran Torres! Oh, and that should have been two. Yeah, he knew only too well that... Going for goal! Sticks it away! And this is getting better and better.
Arsenal making consecutive changes here. Things starting to look very comfortable. Hector Berry. Tierney. And here's Aubameyang. Arsenal look completely out of sorts when it comes to crucial moments, Peter. They've lost composure and that killer instinct. And here's Aubameyang. Torreira plays a clever pass. Tierney plays it backwards and they'll try again. Mr. Hits one! Shaka. Torreira. Aubameyang. It's William! Oh, real danger here. It's a goal kick. Ake. Rodri. And time is up. This win by a very competent performance. Without doubt, they were the better side, and the result reflects as much. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Manchester have some very strong runners from midfield, and it's not often you'll see a team be so effective by advancing through the...